Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to do an ultimate photo book comparison. Mixbook versus Blurb versus Shutterfly versus photo book worldwide. Before we start, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so and tick the notifications bell to never miss a new video. Just like I said in my previous video, Mother's Day is upon us and we have lots of free time at our hands right now. And I know many of you started making photo books because I'm getting more and more messages about which one to choose, which one is the best and so on. So I thought I would make a direct comparison of the four biggest photo book companies in the world. I've done specific detailed reviews of all of these books and companies before. The links are going to be in the description below. I even put some of them against each other, but I've never put the four of them against each other. In this video, I'm going to give points for each um, attribute of the photo books. And in the end, we're going to see which one has the most points. Now I want to stress right here in the beginning that the points are not given to the quality as such, but to the overall offerings of the company. So when I give more points for the cover of one company, it doesn't mean that the cover of a different company is not good quality. It just means that the company which I gave more points for has more cover options, nicer cover options, uh, or just, you know, more in the range. This video is not paid and it's not an ad. It's my honest opinion of these photo book companies. So a couple of words of each company. Mixbook is a company in the United States and they are very famous and well known for their very good photo book editor. Blurb is again in the United States, but they started off as a self-publishing company, but they also have a big photo book range. Shutterfly is in the States as well, surprise. And besides their photo book range, they have a gigantic range of photo gifts. They can do anything from chopping boards to puzzles and mugs and uh, aprons and anything you can put your picture onto. And photo book worldwide is a company around the whole world, which operates many different websites, which have a slightly different name, but they're all the same thing. They basically have a huge selection of photo books from basic mid range to very high end photo books as well. So let's start with the sizes. Mixbook has a great size selection. They've got eight different sizes. However, not all of these sizes are available with each book type. So for example, the lay flat books can only come in four sizes and there's only one portrait size. So they go from very small uh, eight by six inches up to 14 by 11. And here are some of the sizes. So that's the smallest one. That's an eight by six inches landscape. This one here is an 8.5 by 8.5 inches square, like a medium sized square. This one here is the most popular landscape size, 11 by 8.5 inches. This also comes in the portrait. And one of the biggest ones is the large square, which is 12 by 12 inches. And here they are side by side. So from smallest to the largest. It's a good selection, but it's by no means the best selection that I've seen. And as I said, some of the sizes are exclusive to certain book types. So I'm going to give them four out of five points. Blurb has five basic sizes and one extra small size, which is available from a smartphone editor. The main sizes go from seven by seven inches to 13 by 11 inches. So from quite small to very large. And all of these sizes can be chosen for all of the photo books. I've got three blurb books here. They're all the same size, seven by seven. But I really love the small square size for whatever reason. It's a slightly smaller selection than with mixed books. I'm going to give them three out of five points. Shutterfly offers seven sizes, but again, only five of them are available for all the photo books. The other ones are specific to certain book types. This one here is one of their medium sized square books. And this one is a seven by seven inches. And the other sizes go from seven by nine all the way up to 14 by 11 inches. Similarly to Mixbook, I'm going to give them four out of five points. Photobook Worldwide offers 11 sizes, a much wider selection. Some of the sizes, again, are specific to certain book types, but you've got far more options. And this is one of the few photobook companies which offers extra, extra large books. So you can get something like 16 by 12 inches, which when you open up is going to be 32 inches long. So huge, huge photo books. The three books I've got here are all uh, 11 by 8.5 inches, which is the medium landscape. And the sizes go from uh, six by six inches all the way up to 17.5 by 12 inches. Good selection from very tiny to extremely large. I'm going to give them five out of five points. 
You can see on the screen now all the available sizes for each company, so you can pause for a moment and compare them directly to see if they have what you're looking for. Let's go on to the covers. Mixbook offers three basic cover types. They have a glossy soft cover, which obviously is bending. They have matte and glossy hardcover, and they also have a leather cover with dust jacket. This one here is the hardcover with the dust jacket. It has a glossy dust jacket and a glossy cover there. It's the same print on both of them. It's fully customized back, front and spine as well. And here is the same glossy hardcover, but without the dust jacket. And here is the difference between the matte and the glossy. You can see one of them is very reflective and the other one isn't. And the last one is the leather one with the dust jacket. The dust jacket is going to be matte and again, fully personalized, but when you take it off, it's going to be a black leather cover. The hard covers are very nice and very good quality. I'm not the happiest with the leather one, but they don't have any of the very high end covers like acrylic, linen, or a fabric or die cut, anything like that. And they don't do any debossing or hot stamping either. So I'm going to give them three out of five points. Blurb, very similar to Mixbook, has a soft cover, which is going to be glossy. And of course it bends like that. They have linen with dust jacket. So you've got the glossy dust jacket, which is fully personalized. And it's going to be a black linen cover underneath. It looks just like a library book. It's a really good binding, but it's the one color that it comes in and there's nothing on the cover. So it's just a black linen cover. And the last one is the matte hardcover, which looks like that. So it's completely smooth and matte. It's the nicest one to the touch. It's very smooth and it has barely any reflection at all. Again, none of the high-end covers are present in the range. So I'm going to give them three out of five points. Shutterfly offers a little bit more. They have a glossy soft cover. They have a glossy hard cover, a matte hard cover. They have linen and leather with or without a die cut window. And they also have genuine leather covers for these luxury albums. Most of these covers are going to be, again, book specific. So you can only choose them with certain book types, but you can also embellish your covers with metallic and gold highlights. So I'm going to give them five out of five points. Photobook Worldwide offers four main photobook cover types. The first one being the soft cover. The second one is the hard cover, which can be matte or glossy. This one here is the glossy one and that's the matte one. So you can see the difference between the two. Of course, they are fully personalized back, front and spine. And they also have debossed, which comes in many, many different colors and uh, linen and leather. And they also have deluxe, which doesn't come with a die cut window like the debossed one. All of these books can come with hot stamping or foil stamping. This book here has a gorgeous leather cover, as you can see, and I have some hot stamping at the front. You can have the title of your book in two different sizes, I think. I think they offer everything from budget to high end uh, in regards of the covers. I'm going to give them five out of five points. Let's talk about binding. Mixbook has two main binding types. They have perfect bound books and they have seamless lay flat books. The perfect bound books obviously are glued at the spine, so it doesn't open completely flat and there is a little bit getting lost in the middle. But these books can go up to 400 pages, so you can make a really, really long book. And the binding is really good. This one, I got this book in 2012, and I've looked through so many times, and there's still no sign of damage or wear and tear. The second one is going to be the lay flat, the seamless lay flat, which of course stays fully flat and there's nothing getting lost in the middle because it's printed as double sheets, which are then stuck together. And there's also a sheet inserted between the pages for extra rigidity. So the pages are very strong. This book I think is 50 pages and this one is 300 pages. And you can see the difference at the spine of the two bindings. So the lay flat is really thick and very heavy the standard perfect bound is a bit lighter. And this one is technically a flush mount book, but it's marketed as a lay flat book because you can't go for options like rounded corners and a thicker substrate between the sheets. So for that reason, I'm going to give them four out of five points because the luxury flush mount albums are missing. Blurb, just like Mixbook, has two binding types. One is the perfect bound, which you can see here. Of course, it doesn't open completely flat. 
but it is again a very good quality commercial binding so you can sell these books in big volumes and the binding is always going to be really good and these books can go up to 440 or 220 pages depending on the paper that you choose i forgot to say the mixed book one uh, the lay flat can go up to 100 pages and the blurb lay flat looks like this it's the exact same technology as mixed book stays fully flat and there's nothing getting lost in the middle because it's printed as double sheets these ones are a little bit thinner than mixed book but still very very rigid pages and these ones can go up to 110 pages again flush mount is not in the range so i'm going to give them four out of five points shutterfly offers three basic bindings and one flush mount so they have perfect bound they have hinged lay flat, they have seamless lay flat and flush mount binding. The perfect bound is the same as mixed book and blurb. And then you have the deluxe uh, seamless lay flat book, which looks like that. Again, the sheets are uh, stuck together and this time there is nothing inserted between the pages. So it's a little bit thinner and less bulky than mixed book. And uh, this one is called the Deluxe, but they also have a slightly cheaper lay flat option, which is the hinged lay flat, in which case the pages are printed as single pages and they are stuck to um, a hinge in the middle. So there's going to be a little break, a black line in the middle, and the pages are going to be thinner as well. So that's a slightly cheaper option if you don't want to use double page spreads. And they also have flush mount binding, which is going to be a lot thicker. There's a thicker substrate between the sheets and you can choose uh, rounded corners and gilding as well. The maximum page count for the Shutterfly books is 110 pages for the standard and the lay flat as well. And the flush mount books go up to 70 pages. I think they have all the options that you can wish for. So I'm going to give them five out of five points. Photobook Worldwide, similar to Shutterfly, has all the options as well. They have the usual perfect bound, which doesn't open completely flat, as you can see, but it is a very good binding and a little bit is going to get lost in the middle. There we go. They have the seamless lay flat option, which opens completely flat and nothing is getting lost in the middle. But this time again, the sheets are just stuck together, but there's nothing inserted between the sheets. So it's a little bit thinner and less bulky. The last one is the flush mount, which looks like that. Just the same as the lay flat, stays fully flat, nothing getting lost in the middle. But with these books, there is a sheet inserted between the pages, so it's a little bit thicker. You can choose from three different thicknesses when you go for the flush mount album, so it can be a lot thicker than this as well. And for that reason, I'm going to give them five out of five points. The maximum page count for the uh, perfect bound books is 300 pages, the lay flat is 150, and the flush mount, depending on the thickness of the pages, is going to be 100 pages. Let's move on to the paper types. Mixed book has basically two paper types, but they market it as four. So the standard books can come with a semi-matte paper and a lustrous finish, and the lay flat books can come with a matte paper and a lustrous finish as well. So lustrous and matte in both cases. For a very long time, they only had one, which was the semi-matte, and I think a year ago, they introduced the luster paper as well. I kept talking so much about it, and they finally have it now. So you have two options, but there is still no option for high gloss, metallic, or uh, uncoated artistic papers. So the choice is very limited, but the two paper types that they have are quite nice. And the lustrous is certainly giving you a little bit more shine and texture to the paper. It would definitely be my go-to paper choice with mixed book. For the lack of choice, I'm going to give them three out of five points. Blurb offers five different paper types from uh, silk to luster, pearl, uh, uncoated, and uh, premium matte as well. If you get confused with the blurb, paper types, you can order one of the swatch kits from the website and this has every single um, paper type and there's also a sample of a black and white and color picture so you can see how it would look on the paper. I have a review of the swatch kit as well if you want to see it in video but I know it's always different when you have it in your hands. So the choice is a little bit better than with mixed book but again you don't really have any photographic papers or high gloss. I'm going to give them four out of five points because it's still not complete. Shutterfly offers matte, 
glossy and lustrous finish. Again, the paper types are going to be exclusive to certain book types. So the lay flat comes with the luster, the standard comes with the glossy. So you can't choose all of these for every single book. They don't have metallic and they don't have any art paper. So I'm going to give them just like blurb four out of five points. Photobook Worldwide has the best selection of papers from these four companies. They have a, a silk paper, they have an e-photo matte, an e-photo luster, they have an art paper, and they also have the Canon high gloss and the Canon luster HD paper. So uh, again, some of these paper choices are going to be locked to certain book types, but you always have a few options, whichever book type you choose. And they have high gloss, art, luster, matte, so everything you really need in a range. So I'm going to give them five out of five points. You can see on the screen now all the available paper types for all these companies and the information I could find about them on the website. So you can pause the video again and look through the paper types. Let's go on to the print quality. Mixbook prints all of their photo books on HP Indigo printers, which are digital offset printers. These are very good mid-range printers. They do a very good, consistent, good job but they don't come very close to photographs and photograph quality prints. Again, for what they are, digital books, the quality is good, but uh, if I want to make a wedding photo book or something very um, high-end or with very high quality photo shoots and uh, portraits, I would definitely want to go for either an inkjet printer or a silver highlight printer, and they don't have any of these, so I'm going to give them four out of five points. Blurb, very similarly to Mixbook, only has um, HP Indigo printers, so all of their books are printed on the same printer. Sometimes uh, they have economy print settings for some of the paper types uh, in the trade books and the photo books, but every book is going to be printed on the same printer, so they're going to get four out of five points. Shutterfly 2 prints all of their books on HP Indigo printers, to my knowledge, however, the website it's not extremely technical when it comes to print quality and equipment used on the photo books. They state what they use for the prints, but not for the photo books in each case, and especially not for the flush mount albums. When you do your books, you will see now a new upgrade option, which is the six color upgrade, which claims to have much nicer tones and better color gradation, but they don't state what the six colors are. I don't know if it's going to be an inkjet printer or if it's going to be an extra two colors in the HP Indigo printer. I think when you make customers pay something extra for a print, you need to specify what they are paying for. I'm going to give them four out of five points. Photobook Worldwide prints most of their photo books on HP Indigo printers, but they also have the Canon Dream Labo, which is a state of the art high-end inkjet printer. Every photo book which uses the Canon HD papers is going to be printed on the inkjet printer. So if you have really good quality photos, always choose one of the Canon HD papers. Since they have indigo and high-end printers as well, I'm going to give them five out of five points. Let's move on to editing. Mixbook is well known for its very easy and user-friendly editor. Uh, I've used it countless times and I loved it every single time. I can always make a photo book in less than 15 minutes. The photo book is an online editor, so once you load it up, you have to select one of the ready books or pre-made templates, and all you have to do is drag your pictures into the template. Of course, you can customize it in any way you want to. If you don't like the templates, you have lots of backgrounds, embellishments, uh, frames, and so on, and you can move anything anywhere you want to, the text and the pictures. Another good thing about the editor is that if you create a medium-sized landscape book, but by the end of the creation process, you realize that you wanted a large book, you can easily upsize it or downsize it without having to readjust everything in the editor. When you get to the checkout process, you will be able to choose your cover, uh, binding and paper. You can't do these before you start editing the book. You have to do it after in the checkout process. Despite my love of this editor, they don't have any PDF options. So you can't upload your books as a PDF and get them printed with Mixbook. They don't have any external modules for Adobe, InDesign and so on. And they don't have any offline editing or smartphone editing either. So I'm going to give them four out of five points. Blurb, on the other hand, has all of these. They have online, offline editing, they have smartphone editing, and they have PDF and external editing as well. But they do not have the same amazing editor as Mixbook does. So I'm going to give them four out of five points. Shutterfly is extremely similar to Mixbook. 
the editor is almost completely identical and you have just as many amazing themes, but they charge for most of these themes. And I think that's really silly because why charge $5 when you can easily build it into the price? and then people wouldn't assume that it's something extra they have to pay for. They don't have any of the external features like PDF, external editing or offline editing, but they do have a design service where you can pay an extra fee and someone at the company is going to edit the book for you. Because you have to pay for the themes, I'm going to give them three points out of five. The last one, Photobook Worldwide, uh, has improved so much throughout the years. A few years back, when I used it for the first time, I didn't like the editor so much. It was a little bit difficult to use. But now, a couple of months ago, when I did my new books, I was absolutely amazed with the new interface. It has an autoflow option, lots of lots of ready books and templates, which look really, really good and very funky. And again, you can drag and drop your pictures into the templates, move everything about, and they also have this auto layout function, which I really love. Again, they don't have any offline editing, but they do have a smartphone editor, so I'm going to give them four out of five points. Let's talk a little bit about accessories because presentation is so important nowadays. Mixbook doesn't have any accessories at all. They used to have a white box, but my books in the past couple of years didn't come in any kind of box and there was no way to add one either. So uh, I'm going to give them zero out of five points. Blurb, just like Mixbook, no accessories, nothing fancy, so zero out of five points. When you go to Shutterfly, they have three different boxes that you can choose from, and they also have something very cute that I really like, which is this memorabilia pocket, which you can stick at the beginning of the book, and you can put your boarding passes, tickets, or you know memorabilia from your baby wedding, and so on, and you can keep it inside the photo book. I think that's a great idea, and I've only seen this with um, Shutterfly. I'm going to give them two out of five points because they have some boxes and the pocket, but again, nothing extremely fancy. Photobook Worldwide has uh, two main types of boxes. They have slip cases. You can choose from lots of materials and lots of colors and the book just slides in and slides out. And they have these luxury uh, presentation boxes, which again can come in leather, linen, lots of colors, debossing or hot stamping on the top. And it looks like that beautiful for weddings or anything very special and when you put the book inside it's a perfect match with the box so i'm going to give them three out of five points now let's talk about the price and affordability since most of these companies run regular deals and discounts almost every single week i think it's fair to talk about the actual price that you're going to pay so i'm going to mention the full price but also the most likely price you are going to pay. I'm going to talk about this size book in every photo book company's case. So an 11 by 8.5 inch landscape hardcover standard perfect bound book without any extras for 20 pages. Mixbook book charges $95 for this full price. And if you take one of their weekly discounts, you're going to pay $47. Blurb charges full price for the same book, same size, uh, $60. And if you take their usual 35% discount, it's going to come down to $39. Shutterfly for the same size book is going to be $106. And with their everlasting 50% off on the website, it's going to come down to $53. Photobook Worldwide for the same size is going to be $95 full price. And with their uh, nice discount, it's going to come down to $38. So I'm going to give uh, Photobook Worldwide and Blurb five points out of five, Mixbook four out of five, and Shutterfly three out of five. So what is the verdict? Which book should you choose? Well, that's not me to say. I told you everything you need to know about these books. And I really want to stress again that when I gave these points, I didn't give a low point because it's not a good quality binding or a not good quality cover. I gave the lower point because it didn't offer the same amount of options as the other company or the other company had nicer options. Now, if I add up all the points, Mixbook is going to get 26 points, Blurb is going to get 27 points, Shutterfly is going to get 30 points and Photobook Worldwide is going to get 37 points. 
So in my opinion, by far, Photobook Worldwide is going to be the best value for money. You have the widest selection of materials and books, and you also have the best quality print because they have the Dream Labo inkjet printer. Despite this, let me give you some advice because what's best for me is not necessarily best for your needs. If you want the easiest creation process, go for Mixbook. I think that's the easiest and best editor of all. If you want to sell your books and you want affordability, then go for Blurb. It's a self-publishing platform. If you want to bundle your book with lots of other gifts, like you want a photo book and the same pictures on a chopping board and a puzzle, then go for Shutterfly because they have the widest selection of photo gifts. If you want to do a very fancy photo book or you have very high quality pictures and you want the best quality print, or the nicest materials, then go for Photobook Worldwide. If you have any more questions about these companies, please watch my dedicated Photobook reviews of all of these books. This one was a side-by-side -side comparison. If you want the latest deals for any of these Photobook companies, go to my blog, thephotobookguru.com slash deals, and you'll find the latest voucher codes and coupons for all of these companies. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you very much and subscribe for more.